And no other country on earth welcomes as many new arrivals as us. And as long as the promise of America endures, as long as we continue to stand tall as a beacon of hope and opportunity, then the world's hardest workers, the hungriest entrepreneurs, the men and women who are willing to make enormous sacrifices to get a better life, not just for themselves, but for their children and their grandchildren, they're going to keep on coming. And like the millions who came before, and like the 28 Americans who are here today, they, they will bring with them new hopes, and new dreams, new ideas, and new optimism about our future. That will make us stronger. That's how we'll make sure that our best days are ahead of us and not behind us. So I want to thank each and every one of you for allowing me uh, the opportunity to share in this incredible moment. This is one of the best things I get to do as President of the United States uh, is to address all of you uh, as fellow citizens. Uh, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. And we now have one last piece of business to conclude the ceremony. I'd like to ask one of our newest citizens, uh, uh, Julian uh, de la Vieja, uh, Vieja uh, from Colombia, uh, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So, Julian. Uh, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Congratulations. Congratulations, all of you. Thank you. Enjoy the White House, all right? Thank you very much, everybody.